The Nebuchadnezzar University would like to welcome all players, officials, and spectators to tonight's contest in the Cook Center Bell Family Arena. This evening game features the Benedictine College Ravens and your Lake Sky Deers. Coming into the contest, the Ravens have a 17-8 overall record and are 9-6 in the conference. Your Lady Pioneers currently have a 14-9 overall record and are 11-4 in the conference. Now everyone please rise for the National Anthem. Tonight's starting lineups, first for Benedictine. Starting at guard, a 5'6 freshman from Goddard, Kansas, number three, Kennedy Nicholson. At the other guard, 5'8 junior from Gardner, Kansas, number 32, Aliyah Reigns. At forward, 5'10 senior from Gardner, Kansas, number 35, Skyler Washington. At the other forward, 6'1", senior from Carroll, Oklahoma, number 40, Ali Brosowski. And at center, 6'2", senior from Maple Plain, Minnesota, number 33, Natalie Sarmaran. And Dixie is coached by Chad Folsom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing your pioneers. Starting at guard, 5'8 senior from Tecumseh, Kansas, number one, Lydia Austinson. At the other guard, 5'2 senior from Old Lake, Kansas, number five, McKenna Gooch. At the other guard, 5'7 senior from Ashland, Missouri, number 20, Trailshaw Smith. At forward, six foot sophomore from Stillwell, Kansas, number 30, Area Sargent. And at center, six two senior from Carl Junction, Missouri, number 42, Megan Scott. The Pioneers are coached by John Lewis, assisted by Andrew Mike Johnson, Nate Edson, and Drew B. Croft. Welcome into the Cook Center Bell Family Arena in Rocky Lamar Court, where we're set for some Heart of America Athletic Conference action between your Mid-America Nazarene University Pioneers and the visiting Benedictine College Ravens in town from Atchison, Kansas. In the final regular season home game for the Pioneers, both men's and women's having their senior night tonight. And it does not affect the starting lineup for the Pioneers as Michaela Gooch, the lone senior, I believe, on the, uh, excuse me, Megan Scott as well, but both both traditional starters, and so their lineup remains the same. Interested to see how the men change up their starters on the senior night festivities. But traditional starting five, Michaela Gooch, Lydia Austin, Centrell Sean Smith, Ariel Sargent, and Megan Scott set to jump center against the Ravens. Of course, we could have one more or multiple more home games. 
on both sides. Both teams still in the hunt for hosting a home playoff game, so fingers crossed. But last one of the regular season here in the Cook Center. Right away they get it to Megan Scott on the block. She goes up, couldn't get the layup to go off the right side. Little double clutch there. I think she was expecting contact, didn't get it. Good execution to get Scott the ball in her sweet spot right there on, on the low block, but came up empty that time. Ravens basketball. It's going to be the freshman, Kennedy Nicholson, running point. Freshman from Goddard, Kansas, Eisenhower High School. And she goes high post to Natalie Smarin. Little dribble handoff action all the way to the cup. Layup right side, no good, but rebounded by Smarin. She couldn't get the putback to go. Charles Sean Smith going to bring it across the timeline for the Pioneers and set the offense. Fake the dribble handoff, got all the way to the bucket herself, layups up and good, so Trelshawn Smith gets the scoring started tonight. A little dribble handoff action where she decided to keep it. Got a step on the defender all the way to the bucket. Nice move from Trelshawn. Ravens working around the perimeter. Here comes a high ball screen. It's going to be Aaliyah Reigns handling, and she finds Smarin, guarded by Megan Scott in the post. High post entry now. That's going to be Ali. Brozowski, hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. That's a mouthful. Second chance action for the Ravens. Wide open catch and shoot three. Knocked down by Skyler Washington. Washington, a local kid. Just right down the road, Gardner, Kansas. Gardner Edgerton High School. So I'm sure she's got some friends and family in attendance as that's just about a 15-minute drive from Pioneers Campus. Austinson swings it across top of the key. They're looking to go high low to Megan Scott. What a pass from Trelshawn Smith. Megan Scott able to handle the post-entry pass over the top of the defense and lays it in for two. Scott does a nice job against full fronting, and she's fronted often because she's difficult to guard one-on-one -on -one in the post, so teams will front it and try to deny her the basketball, but she does a nice job pushing that defender further up the lane line. They can just throw it over the top for the easy layup, and that the case that time, but an excellent pass from Trelshawn Smith. That is not an easy post-entry. Stolen away by Michaela Gooch. She finds Lydia Austinson all the way to the bucket. Layups up and good. Pioneers off and running. That's what they like to do. Fifth-year senior Michaela Gooch gets them going in transition. Gets herself an assist on senior night to a speedy Austinson. 6-3 lead for the Pioneers. Smarin, dribble handoff action with Aaliyah Reigns. Reigns comes off to the right side. Pull-up jumper, left it short, rebounded by Scott. Trelshawn Smith brings it across for the Pioneers. Michaela Gooch left wing. She's going to use the ball screen from Megan Scott. Thought about the pull-up jumper. Instead dropped it off to a rolling Scott. Last touch by the Ravens, so it'll be Pioneer basketball out of bounds. Natalie Smarin came over and got a hand on that ball, poked it out of bounds. For a brief moment in time there, looked like Scott may have had a layup on the pick and roll. Gooch inbounds it to Scott. She's one-on-one -on -one in the post. Drop step. Had her shot blocked by Smarin. Good defense inside. You don't see that happen to Megan Scott often in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Trelshawn Smith forced to take a difficult contested shot at the end of the shot clock. Ball never got to the rim, so they'll call it a shot clock violation. And just three minutes into the ball game, Anna Ralston checks in. Nicholson running the point, guarded by Gooch, full court, little token full court pressure, just enough to make you think about it, not trying to force a turnover, but the Pioneers will hop into a 2-2-1 press, but they've had some success forcing turnovers after dead balls and made, made free throws especially, so we'll see if they go to that tonight. Played it exclusively on Monday. Another offensive rebound by the Ravens is going to result in a bucket from Aaliyah Reigns. Gooch with the pistol action gets it to Trelshawn Smith, top of the key. Trelshawn's three is on the way, left it short, rebound by Nicholson. She'll handle it herself, a little behind the back dribble at midcourt, sets up a secondary break offense. They get it in the post, that's one-on-one -on -one in the post with Brzezowski. She kicked it out to Smarin for the jumper who knocks it down. That puts the Ravens on top one, 7-6 to six here early. Sargent looking to answer. Resets to Gooch. 
Michaela calls for a ball screen from Ralston. She refuses it, gets downhill to her left hand, kick out, three on the way from Sargent, knocks it down. Ariel Sargent, the smooth catch and shoot jumper, puts the Pioneers back on top 9 7. Off the drive and kick from Michaela Gooch. Gooch with a couple of assists here early on. High ball screen from Brzezowski. And now she's going to roll into the post. She's got the smaller Gooch on her. Here comes help side defense. Anna Ralston came over to help her teammate Michaela Gooch and had to come a second time as the ball was deflected and Brzezowski got a second opportunity with a dribble. Got all the way to the bucket but couldn't get it to go. Skip pass, Austinson in the corner. Back to Trelshawn Smith. Smith giving some direction, trying to get Anna Ralston in a ball screen. Here it is, attacking right side. Trelshawn, skip pass, extra one to the corner. Sargent, another three, this time off to the right. Rebounded by Smarin, who's hounded full court by Smith. Trelshawn almost forced a turnover in the backcourt, but now the Ravens have numbers. That's going to be Reigns for three. Couldn't get it to drop, and Benedictine's going to keep possession. Ariel Sargent battling for the rebound there. Last touch on her, and so it'll be... Benedictine basketball, and Jordan Gonzalez checks in for the first time tonight. Heather Ronnenbaum checks in for Benedictine. And the Atchison, Kansas native stayed at home for the college experience. And that basket's good by Twyla Karaskilo. And this Ravens club does not make it easy on the commentators. Carasquillo with the bucket. And now a turnover. That's going to be Skylar Washington taking it coast to coast. Her pull-up jumper rattles around. Doesn't drop. Anna Ralston comes away with the defensive rebound. Now Pioneers have a transition opportunity. Trelshawn Smith, pull-up, 15-footer, rattles out. Nicholson controls the pace. Now she gets it to Ronenbaum. They tried to enter the post. It was batted away. A couple of Pioneers go for the loose ball, but it found the wide open Ali Brozowski top of the key, but her three was off the mark. Anna Ralston pulls down another rebound and draws a foul. Twyla Carasquillo called for her first personal. Just the first team foul of the ball game for either club. Anna San Juan in the game now. Senior guard from Spain. It's 23 in the black. Jerseys with the knee brace on. Easier to identify. Gooch, top of the key, Anna Ralston. Little pin down screens on the wings. Get it to Jordan Gonzalez. Now she's going to use a screen from Ralston. Gets to Zoe Hayward, seeing her first action. Reset, Michaela Gooch gets into the paint, all the way to the bucket, left-handed layup off the glass and good. So Michaela Gooch causing problems for the Ravens' defense here early. A couple times she got into the paint, found an open teammate for a bucket. That time took it herself, got the lefty layup to go. Ravens enter the post to Brzezowski, shot fake, gets into the lane, all the way to the right side. It was blocked by Ralston, and she's going to pull down another board. Gooch has the Pioneers off and running. Probes all the way into the paint. Open shooter. This time it's Austinson. And Lydia Austinson shot off the mark. But another good opportunity off a drive and kick from Michaela Gooch. Washington pulled it down and pushed the tempo for the Ravens. Drive out of the left corner. Ronenbaum. Good extra pass. Three on the way. No good. But offensive rebound by Brzezowski. She goes right back to that right hand. This time gets this layup to go and ties us at 11. Michaela all the way across the timeline, found an open Jordan Gonzalez who's going to take a pull-up three off the dribble. She can hit those. Just about any time a defender goes under a ball screen on Gonzalez, she's just going to stop behind and shoot it. And she shoots it at a high percentage. Didn't connect on that one, and that allows Trelshawn Smith to check back into the game. Lydia Austinson will take a seat. Box set from the Ravens, high post entry. 
get it all the way across to San Juan, and they're going to have a foul away from the basketball. I believe it's Zoe Hayward who's going to pick up her first. The Hayward can't believe it. She said, that foul was on me. Didn't appear to be a lot of contact. A couple feet tangled up in the lane there, and usually when someone goes down, they're going to blow the whistle. Ravens get it in, baseline underneath. Smarin, dribble handoff. They got it back to Aaliyah Reigns. Reigns calling for a ball screen. Here it comes. Gets off to her left hand, pick and pop action. Smarin, 16-foot jumper off the mark. But offensive rebound battled for by Heather Ronenbaum, and she's going to draw a foul going for that rebound. They're going to get that foul on Gonzalez, her first. And Ariel Sargent back into the game for the Pioneers, as well as Rachel Siebold. High low post action, left block blocked away. I think Zoe Hayward blocked it first, and then Megan Scott came away with a piece of that basketball as well. Good defense inside from the Pioneers. High ball screen, Trelshawn Smith, stop and pop, pull up jumper. That'd be a two, had her foot on the line. Couldn't get it to drop. Ravens coming back the other way with numbers. Smarin thought about a jumper, turns it down. Top to Reigns, Aaliyah Reigns downhill. Cut off there by Megan Scott and threw a bounce pass that was deflected and she caught it back while sitting on the floor and had to get rid of it. Last touch by the Ravens. So it's going to be Pioneer basketball. Benedictine can't believe it. They thought it was the last touch on the Pioneers. Pleading their case on the sidelines to no avail. Trelshawn Smith probes off the ball screen from Megan Scott. She gets into the paint, draws two, keeps her dribble alive. Now Zoe Hayward's going to try. She's cut off by two Raven defenders. Siebold, left side. All the way to the bucket. Skip pass deflected out of bounds. Pioneers trying to break into the teeth of that defense, but unsuccessful in that possession. Never got it inside the three-point line. Nice job containing the dribble drive from the Benedictine defense on this possession. Michaela Gooch with success early, but she's on the bench, and see if Trelshawn Smith can get a paint touch. And now Megan Scott goes to work in the post. Little fadeaway jumper too strong. Nicholson comes down with a contested rebound. Now Skylar Washington brings it across the right side, guarded by Smith. Uses a ball screen right to left. Swing it all the way around the perimeter. They're trying to get Smear in a post touch. Couldn't do it. Good defense inside from Scott. Aaliyah Reigns penetrating pitch. Now Washington takes a three right side. Looked good the whole way off the back rim. Rebound Megan Scott. And they're denying Smith the ball in the backcourt. So Megan Scott playing a little point center. Brings it across the timeline herself. Sets the offense. Shot clock is off. Just 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. So Pioneers can take the last shot of the quarter here. Dribble weave action. Looking to get Megan Scott a post touch. Now they do. One on one in the post with Smarin. Scott, spin move. Left side. Got it to go. She is difficult to guard. One on one in the post. She's got four. The Pioneers are going to take a two-point lead into the first quarter break. 13 to 11 is your score. We'll be back one minute. MNUsports.com. Sports on YouTube.
It's going to be Benedictine basketball to get things started here in the second quarter. Nicholson brings it across, guarded by Gooch. Set play coming out of the timeout break. Smarin, they're looking to get a post touch for Brzezowski. They go to her, but good defense inside. Ariel Sargent comes away with the steal, and now Trelshawn Smith's off and running. No numbers. She wisely pulls it out, resets. Secondary break, gets it to Megan Scott, who attacks from the top of the key, and she's going to draw a foul on Smarin. It's a high IQ basketball play from Trelshawn Smith. You see so many guards force up a difficult, highly contested shot on the break there, and she realized there were multiple defenders back, and she was all alone. Chose to pull it out and run some offense, and it results in drawing a foul on Smarin, and then Megan Scott with the easy bucket in the paint. Extends the lead, 15 to 11, your score. Nicholson in the corner. Back to Brzezowski. She fakes the drill handoff, goes all the way to the rim left side. Couldn't get her layup to go. Got her own rebound and then threw it out of bounds. Brzezowski was looking for Natalie Smarin on the wing. Smarin was cutting to the basket, a little miscommunication. So Pioneers take over. Ravens showing a bit of a 2-2-1 press here. It may just be a little full court man-to-man, -man, but they left. Ariel Sargent unguarded at the rim, and Gooch thought about throwing the full court. Didn't. No matter. Lydia Austinson, like a hot knife through butter, just walked right to the basket, laid it in off the right side. That's her strong hand. She won't have an easier two points the rest of her college career. All the way to the rim, unguarded for the easy deuce. And Smarin, fadeaway jumper. She hits the deck. Pioneers rebounded, so they've got numbers. Austinson on the fast break, skip pass, Trelshawn Smith tries the three left wing, off the back rim, rebound by Nicholson. Tell you what, freshman guard Kennedy Nicholson's got a bunch of rebounds already, rebounds it awfully well at that point guard spot. She refuses a ball screen, drives into the paint, she's going to draw a foul, not sure if they got Gooch, no they're going to get Trelshawn Smith with the reach in, just her first personal. Nicholson looking to inbound. Now does, gets it up top to Smarin. She's going to go high low to Brzezowski. Brzezowski going to work on Ariel Sargent, but a double team comes. Good defense inside by Sargent and Megan Scott forced the miss. And Trelshawn Smith gets things set the other way. Attacks off the ball screen. Throws it back, a wide open. Michaela Gooch, three on the way. Left it short. Good execution in the half court. Another wide open three for the Pioneers. Didn't knock that one down, but they're getting good shots on the offensive end. Secondary break from the Ravens. Stagger double into the high ball screen. Aaliyah Reigns into the paint. Smarin, 17-foot jumper. Too strong. Rebound trust on Smith. Smith's going to bring it across. They've got numbers. If she pushes, she's going to slow things down. And why not as well if they have executed half-court offense here to start the second quarter. Austinson, shot fake, drive to the bucket, scoop layup. Up and good. That is a difficult finish. Highly contested layup on the right side. Scooped it up and in. Lydia Austinson with six. 30-second timeout, Benedictine College. So we'll be right back, 19-11, to 11, MNUsports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube. Pioneers pick up full court after the 30-second timeout. Almost drew a five-second call. Don't think Benedictine was expecting a press coming out of that timeout. We're just looking to break momentum, set up a set play here in the half court, and they finally do, but with just 20 on the shot clock. So the press doesn't force a turnover, but does cause a little bit of confusion. However, Ravens handle it just fine, get into a high-low set. Brzezowski gets the layup to go, middle of the paint. Cuts this lead to six. Trelshawn Smith, stop and pop, pull up, jumper, left it short. Nicholson, another rebound. And her pass was 
Stolen away, Trelshawn Smith got a hand on it. Michaela Gooch eventually came down with it, but great play by Smith. Officials trying to get a shot clock reset, finally do, but had to stop play and reset the shot clock after the change of possession. Heather Ronenbaum and Jennifer Jacobs check in for Benedictine College. Jacobs, another freshman out of Wichita, Kansas. So the Ravens playing some young talent. Several freshmen getting a lot of minutes here early in the first half. Gooch tried to enter the post to Ralston. It was deflected out of bounds. Pioneers will keep possession. Make sure you use that YouTube live chat feature. We're happy to provide a free broadcast, especially during these times. We know not everybody's able to travel, and we are happy to be allowing fans back into the Cook Center now. It's It's been... A couple of seasons without him. But that YouTube live chat stream really helps out a solo commentator. Let me know where you're at, who you're rooting for. Give you a shout-out on the broadcast, who's your player, your team. Helps us interact a little bit with a one-man crew up here. Offensive foul that time on Ralston, posting hard. Got an elbow up, and officials didn't like it. Just her first personal. Ronenbaum to the basket, was cut off there, found Smarin. She kicks it out. I think that's Skylar Washington for three, left it short. And it's going to be Benedictine basketball. Last touch, Ariel Sargent. As Kennedy Nicholson was in there fighting for the offensive rebound. And she may be the Ravens' leading rebounder here tonight, maybe the game's leading rebounder so far, standing at just 5'6". A nose for the basketball. Ronenbaum enters the post. Looking to go high-low. That's Jennifer Jacobs in there posting. She's got it now, right block. Kicks it back out. Chases to a ball screen. Has it again, high post. Looking to feed high-low to Smarin. Got it to her. Buckets up and good with just two on the shot clock. That's a couple of times here in the second quarter we've seen the Ravens go to that high-low set for back-to-back -back baskets. Trelshawn Smith answers, pull up, jumper left it short. Rebound Ronenbaum, here come the Ravens. A little behind the back dribble from Nicholson, a kick out three, and Washington knocks it down. Nifty play from Kennedy Nicholson, broke the pressure. On time, on target, hook pass, and Skyler Washington drills a three. We got a one-point ball game, 19-18, Pioneers lead. 30-second timeout on MNUsports.com. It'll be Pioneer basketball coming out of the break after that three from Washington. Made this a one-point ball game. Benedictine showing a little full-court press here. Deep outlet to Gonzalez. Get past Trelshawn Smith, and they get an easy post touch for Megan Scott. She's fouled inside by Smarin, so Scott's going to head to the free throw line. Exactly what you want to do against the press, attack it and get to the rim. And that's the second personal on Smarin. She's going to take a seat now, and Brzezowski will check back in. So Ravens deep in the front court have multiple tall and skilled players that they can run through that spot, but two fouls on Smarin, a big deal. She could be done for the half here. Pioneers awfully difficult to guard at the five spot, especially Megan Scott, who's got seven points in the game already. Make it eight. She's two for two at the line this trip. And Gooch and Austinson picking up full court. San Juan brings it across. San Juan. Pioneers wanted a double dribble. They're saying Lydia Austinson got a hand on that ball, so legal play. 
Brzezowski high post. Thought about a jumper, turns it down. All the way to the rim. Cut off there by Megan Scott. Good help defense by the Pioneers. Open layup by Jacobs. No good off the left side, but Megan Scott cut off two or three driving Ravens on one possession. Rim protection been important here early. Neither team shooting a high percentage from the outside. Washington has the top of the key now. High ball screen, little roll replace action. This three on the way from Brzezowski off the mark. Another rebound for Megan Scott, and she's going to get it to Gonzalez. Now to Austinson, three on three. Finally, all ten players into the front court. Gooch takes a three behind the screen, left it short, and Skylar Washington tracks down the rebound and is going to draw a foul on Gooch, who was just going for the offensive board there. Washington just beat her to the basketball, so first personal foul on Gooch. Third team foul, neither team in the bonus. Been a clean game so far, gone quickly. Just 3.54 to go in the first half. Leah Reigns enters high post. Brzezowski again. Now she goes back to the freshman all the way to the cup with her left hand. Jennifer Jacobs, strong take. She's gone to that left side a couple of times. Must be left-handed as that was a confident, strong take to the left side. Megan Scott responding with post-catch all the way to the rim. She's fouled again. Going to head back to the free throw line, and she is just too much to handle one-on-one -on -one in the post. Can go over either shoulder, good footwork, gets deep post position, and earns herself a trip back to the free throw line. Trelshawn Smith checks back in for Lydia Austinson. Scott's first free throw, too strong off the back rim. She was two for two prior to that, so relatively efficient free throw shooter, especially for a post player, and make it three for four. She's up to nine points in the game, gives the Pioneers a two-point lead. Anna San Juan brings it across midcourt. Back to Jacobs. He's been effective here off the bench in the second quarter. Little give and go. Got it back. Pull up jumper off the mark. Too strong from Jacobs. Rebound Trelshawn Smith. She brings it across. Lost the handle and Megan Scott first to the floor. Saves possession for the Pioneers. And now Trelshawn Smith unguarded on the right wing. Open three. Left it. Too strong off the back rim, rebound by Zoe Hayward, but she stepped on the out-of-bounds line after the offensive board. So great play by Megan Scott to steal a possession for the Pioneers and open three for a good shooter in Smith, just unable to connect that time. Pioneers still hanging on to this two-point lead late in the first half. Brzezowski top of the key, surveying. They're looking to go back to Jacobs in the post. They do. Another left-handed layup, another easy basket. Jennifer Jacobs has been a spark offensively for the Ravens here in the second quarter. Ties the game at 22. Megan Scott looking to go dribble handoff with Smith. Gets it to her. Trelshawn all the way to the rim. Skip pass, extra pass. Gooch open three. No good. Offensive rebound from Megan Scott. She couldn't get the follow to go. I mean, great half-court offense from the Pioneers. A paint touch, a skip pass, an extra pass to a wide-open shooter and just coming up empty on the perimeter right now. But good ball movement, getting good shots. Got to think those will fall if you continue to do that for the duration of the four quarters. But low-scoring affair here, 22 all. Just two minutes to go first half. Brzezowski in the high post, one-on-one -on -one with Megan Scott. Face up, attacks the rim, and Zoe Hayward comes over and strips it away. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. Hayward was going to try to call timeout before the Ravens could tie it up, but shot clock expired. So great defensive play that time. Zoe Hayward coming over and help getting the steal.
Montrell Sean Smith running the point guard duties for the Pioneers here as the Ravens have dropped into a 2-3 zone. First time we've seen that look today. Smith directing traffic. They get it to Lydia Austinson. They've overloaded that right side. Skip pass back to Trelshawn. Ravens recover. Trelshawn Smith pull up jumper off the mark. Rebound by Jacobs. Here come the Ravens with a chance to take their first lead of the game. And they may have had a 9-8 to eight lead early on, actually. Take that back. And Washington couldn't handle the pass from Reigns. That was a bullet pass from about five feet away. Austinson found an open Jordan Gonzalez, and the lid is still on that basket from the three-point line. Gonzalez, a great shooter, clean look, just too strong. Trelshawn Smith sets things up, second chance at it here for the Pioneers. See if they can get Megan Scott a post-touch. She's got nine points here, been difficult to guard inside. Drive and kick action, another open three. Lydia Austinson, short. Offensive rebound, good pass, Trelshawn Smith. Drops the dime, looks away, gets Megan Scott an easy deuce. Scott's on the double-figure scoreboard with 11 to lead all scores. Pioneers lead 24-22. Shot clock is off. Ravens could take the last shot of the half. Lydia Austinson just about jumped the passing lane and had a layup. Couldn't quite handle it, deflected it out of bounds. And she's so active on the defensive end. How many times this season have we seen her jump a passing lane, get a steal, and a layup? Reigns has it, guarded by Gonzalez. Top of the key, eight seconds to go in the first half. High ball screen from Brzezowski. Reigns finds Brzezowski on the pick and roll. She's going to tie us at 24. Good execution in the half court by the Ravens that time. Aaliyah Reigns and Ali Brzezowski on the two-man game. And we got a tie ball game, 24 to 24. Pioneers led by Megan Scott with 11 in the first half. 15-minute halftime break. We'll be back on MNUsports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube.
Well, it's going to be Pioneer basketball when we start the third quarter of action here in the Cook Center. A tie ball game, 24-24. Cold shooting from the perimeter, the story in the first half for both clubs. The Pioneers just one for 12 from the three-point line. The Ravens two for eight. Solid defense in the interior by both teams with a low-scoring first half. Megan Scott, the lone pioneer in double figures, goes to work to start the third quarter. So she had 11 at the break, make it 13. Puts the Pioneers back on top by two. Scott, the lone bright spot offensively in the first half. Lydia Austinson was six. She was three for six from the floor. Nice set coming out of the third quarter for the Ravens. Got Skyler Washington open on a little backdoor cut. She couldn't convert the initial field goal attempt, but got her own rebound and was fouled. She'll head to the line for two. The Ravens were led in scoring by Ali Brzezowski and Natalie Smarin. Excuse me, and Skylar Washington. Each who had six points at the break. Smarin with four, as well as Jennifer Jacobs with four. Ravens with a big edge in the rebounding column in the first half. Out rebounded the Pioneers 25 to 18. Pioneers Took care of the basketball, just three turnovers compared to Benedictine seven. So kind of the tail of the tape of the first half there in an evenly played game. And there's going to be a turnover off the missed foul shot. Austinson and Gooch not on the same page on the outlet there. Out of bounds. It'll be Benedictine basketball with a chance to take the lead. And Nichols is going to go back court. It's a sloppy turnover by the Pioneers, followed by a careless turnover by the Ravens, so no harm done. Call it a scratch. They threw the ball into freshman point guard Kennedy Nicholson, who was sprinting toward the backcourt, and her teammate gave it to her right before she got there, and it was she couldn't stop her momentum in time. That's on the inbounder, not the, the guard receiving the pass. So Gucci's shot blocked. Ravens come up with the defensive board. Smarin came away with the rebound. I'm not sure who got a piece of it. It might have been Nicholson on the block. Aaliyah Reigns uses the ball screen from Smarin. Reigns gets it back to Smarin in the paint. Her jump hook is up and good. Ravens lead 27-26. Pioneers get into their double drag ball screen in transition. Megan Scott comes to set the first one. It'll be Sargent pick and pop on the second. And they had her for a moment. Couldn't get it to her. Good defense inside by the Ravens. There's that long over-the-top post entry pass. Trelshawn Smith has thrown that pass a couple of times tonight, and Scott was able to come down with it, but she's called for a travel on the baseline. Coach Lewis asking for an explanation. Did not agree with the traveling call, but officials do not change the call, rarely do. And Ravens looking to build on a one-point lead is they have a size advantage with Brzezowski switched on to Michaela Gooch in the post, and they go to her, but good help defense. Ariel Sargent came out of the corner and knocked that ball away. The official stops the game and gives a verbal warning to Coach John Lewis, whatever that means. Should add national champion and multiple-time Heart of America Coach of the Year, John Lewis. I think he's allowed to express himself from time to time on his home floor. Just five on the shot clock here. Another deflection out of bounds. So the Ravens will take it out baseline underneath. Only five seconds to shoot. They're going to get it into Smarin. She's going to shoot right off the catch and couldn't get the short corner jumper to drop. Lydia Austinson came flying in for the rebound. She's pressured in the backcourt, but now Trelshawn Smith able to break it. Pushes left side, left alone. Gets into the paint. Hesitation move and... Draws a foul on, I believe it's going to be Reigns with the personal it is. Aaliyah Reigns, just her first personal, first team foul on the Ravens here in the third quarter. Pioneers typically execute well on the baseline out of bounds. Megan Scott with a post layup on the first half on an out of bounds play. They look to go to her here on the little duck in, couldn't get it to her. Going to get in their four out, one in ball screen action. Gooch trying to find Megan Scott in the post. Denied, couldn't get it to her. Finally a post touch. One on one in the post, that's trouble. Megan Scott got the bucket to drop. She's got 15 of the Pioneers, 28. And the Ravens 
playing a little bit of pick your poison. Do we send a double team at Scott and maybe the Pioneer shooters get hot from the outside, or do we keep everything under wraps on the perimeter and allow Scott to play one-on-one -on -one in the post? Now, Scott's been very effective, 15 points and a tough cover one-on-one, -on -one, but everyone else for the Pioneers has been quiet, so a little bit of pick your poison. They've gone with one-on-one -on -one in the post, and it's been successful as a group. Low scoring half from the Pioneers, but Scott having a big night on the scoreboard. Washington inbounds for Benedictine. She gets it into Nicholson. Left side. Back to Skylar Washington. Top of the key. Her three's on the way. Off the front rim. Rebound Trelshawn Smith. Ariel Sargent on the fast break. In the paint. She's going to be fouled by Reigns. So Reigns picks up her second foul in the last couple of possessions here. Nice job by the Pioneers to push the pace. They've got to score some in transition. The Ravens have been stout in half-court defense. Again, staying one-on-one -on -one in the post. Megan Scott right back to that middle of the lane turnaround jumper. Back-to-back -back possession. She's got a bucket going middle right there over that right shoulder. Make it 17 points for Scott, and Pioneers lead by three. Skip pass. Brzezowski turned down the three. Extra pass. Washington pulled the trigger in the corner. No good. Rebound by Aaliyah Reigns. Keeps the possession alive for Benedictine. Nicholson directing traffic, getting directions from the sideline. Reigns uses a high ball screen. She gets all the way to the bucket. Left side, got her layup off, and was fouled by Trelshawn Smith. Trelshawn's second personal foul, and Aaliyah Reigns will head to the free throw line. Jordan Gonzalez checks in. Ryan Robinson whooping away in the corner. We'll give him credit for the missed free throw. Super fan Ryan Robinson whoops on all opponent missed foul shots in the Cook Center for probably the last decade now. He's on the scouting report through half the heart of America. Oh for 2 at the line on that trip for Reigns. She's still 30-27 in favor of the Pioneers. Kayla Gooch calls out a set. It's to Jordan Gonzalez. Top of the key is... Benedictine's gone into a 2-3 zone. That's one way to combat the dominant one-on-one -on -one post play of Megan Scott. Skylar Washington going to be whistled for the foul, going for the steal in the post-entry pass. See if Benedictine matches up man-to-man -man now that Megan Scott is out of the ball game. As Anna Ralston checks in, and they will immediately go back to their man. That zone appears to be an adjustment strictly to negate the post play of Scott. Gooch receives the ball screen. Anna Ralston, she gets in the paint. Drive and kick. Three ball on the way, and Jordan Gonzalez knocks one down from the corner. Jordan Gonzalez, Gonzalez and all the Pioneer shooters, really, with clean looks in the first half, just didn't knock them down. And good response here to start the third as they get a steal off the press after the made three from Gonzalez. See if they can get her another touch here. They go to Trelshawn Smith off the dribble handoff. Her three's on the way. And that lid is off the basket now. Trelshawn Smith for three. Jordan Gonzalez for three. And the Pioneers on a run, 36-27. Timeout Benedicting. We'll be back on MNUSports.com, Sports on YouTube. So back-to-back -back triples by Jordan Gonzalez and Trelshawn Smith sparked the nine-point lead for the Pioneers in the timeout from Benedictine. And Pioneers are going to stay in this full-court press coming out of the timeout. Sargent hounding the ball full court. Now it's Gonzalez 
who's picked up Nicholson as she crosses the timeline. Gets the Ravens in their half-court offense, but just 17 on the shot clock. Post-entry pass to Brzezowski. Had a clean look at a layup, missed it. Skylar Washington was there for the rebound, and it was poked out of bounds by the Pioneers, so it'll be Benedictine basketball baseline underneath. And Jordan Nockbar going to check in for the first time tonight. Number 24 in white. Washington got the inbound, gets it to Brzezowski left side. She's going to face up, drive left. Shot fake, pretty up and under move from Aliyah, or Ali Brzezowski. That was well done. Got to the paint, kept her pivot foot down, little up and under. Layup to go on the left side. She's got eight and cuts into the lead. 36-29 is your score. Pioneer, or Ravens back into a 2-3 zone now. So Scott on the bench and Ravens still electing to go zone. That leaves an open shooter on the left side. It was Jordan Gonzalez again, this time too strong. Another rebound for Nicholson. She's going to push the tempo. Skylar Washington splits two defenders all the way to the bucket. Her shot's blocked by Anna Ralston. Michaela Gooch brings it across. Tempo has quickened here on the offensive end for both clubs. Jordan Knockbar crossover all the way to the bucket. Off the glass, too strong, couldn't get it to go. A good take from Knockbar, just couldn't get the finish. Ravens in transition. That's Ronenbaum into the game. She goes all the way to the basket, and she's going to go to the free throw line after Anna Ralston met her at the rim. Be Ralston's second personal. Fourth team foul on the Pioneers, so the Ravens are in the bonus the rest of the quarter. 4-12 to go third quarter, and they'll be shooting free throws on any whistle until that resets when we start the fourth. So Heather Ronenbaum at the line. The senior guard knocks down the first one. Six-point ball game now. Her first points of the game. Couldn't get the second one to drop. Again, we'll credit Ryan Robinson. He's in that corner. Caused a lot of missed foul shots over the years. 2-3 zone from the Ravens. Megan Scott operating right side. Now it's a double team. She was tied up, got it back for a moment, but was out of bounds on the baseline. So coaching adjustment here from Benedictine College is they had seen enough of Megan Scott's one-on-one -on -one post moves and have gone zone and brought a double. Full court press broken and all the way to the rim for the easy layup and one is going to be Natalie Smarin. I don't know if it's Smarin or Smaron. Smaron sounds French almost, doesn't it? We'll, we'll stick with Smarin, like Sharon with an M. Ravens no issue breaking the press that time. Had a little two-on-one at the rim. And she received the drop-off pass, took the easy layup, got the and one, and she's got nine points in the ballgame now, and we got a three-point game. Press from the Ravens. This time Trelshawn Smith attacks right side. Eurostep to the bucket. She's fouled. Trelshawn doing exactly what you're supposed to do when you break a press. You don't settle down and allow the defenders who are pressuring in the backcourt time to recover and then play five on five. Attack while you have that numbers advantage. And she went right to the basket, drew the foul. She's going to head to the free throw line for two. Trelshawn's first foul shot, pure. Gives her six points in the game now. Pioneers a four-point lead. Interested to see if the Pioneers stay in that full-court press after a made free throw here. Assuming Smith makes it, and she does, and they do. They hop right into that 2-2-1 press. Megan Scott back to protect the rim. And Gonzalez pressures the ball all the way on the sideline, and... Ronenbaum th was going to fall out of bounds. She threw it off Jordan Gonzalez. Gonzalez saying, it hit me, but after it hit me, it went back off of Ronenbaum. The officials having a discussion with Coach Lewis, just confirming that it is Benedictine basketball. It is. They inbound to Smarin. She brings it across midcourt. She's going to stop at the foul line, kick it out, run some offense. Ronenbaum has it left side. She goes to the basket, drive and kick. 
Reims turns down a three. And it's going to be stolen away. That's Lydia Austinson. She's going to beat everybody down the floor for the layup. Lydia Austinson runs like a track star, just shot out of a cannon. She's the fastest player on the floor just about every night on, on a straight line sprint. She's got eight points, all of them layups at the rim, just beating everybody down the floor. Another steal. This time Gooch comes away with it. She's going to find another wide open Lydia Austinson for another easy layup. Austinson's got 10. Pioneers extend this lead 42-33. 3.03 to go third quarter. MNUsports.com. Pioneers are going to stay in this full court press. Benedictine to inbound. Smarin can, or excuse me, Brzezowski can run the baseline if she needs to. Tried to get it into Reigns. It was stolen away by Gooch. The press been very successful here in the second half. Michaela Gooch finds a wide open Megan Scott. Her layup no good. And Skylar Washington stripped away the offensive board, but last touch on Washington. And it's going to be Pioneer basketball. So another turnover forced out of this full court press. Pioneers just stealing possessions here. Gooch looking to inbound. Finally gets it to Gonzalez. Right back to Michaela Gooch in the corner. Want to get Megan Scott a post-touch. She's guarded one-on-one -on -one by Brzezowski. Excuse me, by Smarin. And she goes right to the basket. To her strong hand. Jump hook's no good. Good defense that time inside from Smarin. Rebound Ravens, and they have numbers. Brzezowski wide open. Layup right side. Excuse me. Wide open for a moment, and then Lydia Austinson said, absolutely not. Came out of the corner, blocks the shot. What a play defensively by Lydia Austinson. Saves two points for the Pioneers. And Benedictine back into the 2-3 zone, switching defenses frequently here in the third quarter. Extra pass, Trelshawn Smith, corner three, got it. Three ball, corner pocket. Trelshawn Smith gives the Pioneers a 12-point lead. She's in double figures with 10 now. Washington the other way. And it was blocked up top by Megan Scott. She got a lot of basketball. The official says body as he comes to the scoreboard. So apparently didn't think she was in legal guarding position down low, but got the ball up top. The momentum all in favor of the Pioneers right now. Skyler Washington looking to put a dent in that 12-point lead at the free throw line. Knocks down the first. Washington, the Ravens' leading scorer at 12.8 a game, almost 13 points a game. Senior. With her eighth and, well, I was going to say make it ninth and make it ninth points of the ball game. Ten-point game. Ravens picking up full court. And Gonzalez able to get it to Anna Ralston to break the press. Trelshawn Smith, right side, guarded by Washington. Uses the high screen from Ralston. Drive and kick, open three. Gonzalez couldn't draw iron. Offensive rebound by Anna Ralston. That's what she does so well. Just gets extra possessions for the Pioneers. Attacks the glass. And draws the foul on Smarin. Natalie Smarin. 
third personal foul, and Anna Ralston will be at the line for two as both teams are in the bonus now for the remainder of the third quarter. First foul shot too strong. So Lydia Austinson and Trelshawn Smith have combined for 20 of the Pioneers on the floor. The other three have combined for just five. Megan Scott on the bench with 17, and that's kind of the scoring distribution for the Pioneers tonight. That's going to be a traveling violation, one too many steps. Brzezowski got into the paint and couldn't keep her pivot foot down. Gooch throws it all the way across the court to Austinson. She goes right to the basket, gets the difficult layup to go. Austinson, fearless, just attacks that help side defender, goes right into her body and scores it with the contact. She's got 12 points in the game now. Washington looking to answer. Her layup right side, no good. Rebounded by Smith. And Trelshawn Smith double teamed in the backcourt, and she's going to draw a foul on Washington. So that should send Trelshawn Smith back to the free throw line. It will. Just the second personal on Washington, but both teams in the bonus. 103 to play third quarter. Trelshawn good on the first attempt. And splits the two at the line, but Anna Ralston stealing yet another possession. Couldn't find a teammate as she got the offensive rebound on the baseline and just had to save it toward midcourt where it found the arms of the black jerseys, but Good hustle play. Ralston sprinting rim to rim is going to pick up a foul. That's her third. And it will send Natalie Smarin back to the free throw line. She has nine points, looking to get in double figures here. And does, knocks down the first. Coach Lewis giving directions to his senior point guard. Let's go two for one here. So with 53 on the game clock, 30 on the shot clock, Pioneers are going to look to get one off quickly in order to get two possessions to the Ravens' one here to end the quarter. One of the things you love about the women's game as opposed to the men's game is four quarters, more opportunity for end of quarter gamesmanship like that, as well as their ability to advance the ball on a timeout. Well-executed set, got Trelshawn Smith a look on the right side. She isolates, pull-up jumper off the elbow, tough shot. Good defense from Washington, and rebounded by the Ravens. Jordan Gonzalez hit the floor, and they're going to get her for a personal foul. I'm not sure she got tangled up going for the offensive rebound there. So it'll be the second personal on Gonzalez, and the Ravens will head to the line. It's going to be Smarin heading right back to the free throw line where she just knocked down a couple. And these are big free throws. She hits the first as they chip into that Pioneer lead, get it to single digits with the clock stopped before the fourth quarter. And she gets both of them to go. So Smeron has 13 points in the game. It's a nine-point lead for the Pioneers. This should be the last possession of the quarter. And it is. Gooch has the ball top of the key. Guarded there by the freshman Nicholson. High ball screen from Anna Ralston. Nothing doing. They'll reset. They get it to Gonzalez on a dribble handoff. She crosses over right to left, all the way to the bucket, found Anna Ralston. Good pass from Gonzalez, and Ralston unable to finish. Nice drive and kick from Jordan Gonzalez. Doesn't result in a basket, but that's going to be our score heading into the fourth quarter. Pioneers lead 48-39. One-minute timeout on MNUsports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube.
Fourth quarter of action set to resume. Neither team was ready. The official said, nope, let's start play. Broadcaster wasn't ready either. Caught me off guard as both teams sprinted to the sideline to get things started as the official was ready to start his five count. And Ravens got it inbounds and attacked the basket, pick up a foul on Trelshawn Smith. That'll be Smith's third. And Reigns going high post now to Smarin. She goes right back to Reigns, chases it to a ball screen. She drives baseline, got around Megan Scott all the way to the bucket, reverse layup. Couldn't get it to fall. Reigns with just two in the ball game. Had a quiet night offensive. Gooch now guarded by Nicholson. Nicholson still scoreless, but had a big effect on the game, running the point guard spot from the, the freshman. She had five rebounds at halftime to go with three assists and just one turnover, so really controlled the game for the Ravens. Just hasn't looked to shoot the ball much, but gotten her post players a lot of touches and got Skylar Washington involved and just been impressed with the play of the freshman point guard. Smarin has it top of the key. Looking to go dribble handoff. Austinson lost her footing. They get it back to Reigns. Ariel Sargent came over and helped to prevent the uncontested shot. Reigns drove in and was tripped up. They're going to get Austinson for the foul. Just Lydia's first personal, and Reigns is going to go to the free throw line. Zoe Hayward will check back in for the Pioneers. Reigns' first free throw is good. Makes this an eight-point ball game. So the Ravens sticking around. The Pioneers went on a big run there in the third quarter, pushed this thing out to double digits. Benedicting did not go away. Slowly chipped away at the end of the third, and now it's a seven-point ball game with 9.05 to go. Both teams in a full-court press. Trelshawn Smith handles it. She brings it across. Right by two defenders. Make it three. Euro step all the way to the bucket. Floater's no good. Rebound by Smarin. Nicholson brings it across. Now it's Skylar Washington, Benedictine's leading scorer. She feeds the post to Twyla Carskio, who has it stolen away. Trelshawn Smith pokes away from behind. She's got a one-on-one -on -one break. Goes right at the defender, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Trelshawn Smith whistled for her fourth personal. That's a big call because Trelshawn will take a seat for the next few minutes. Pioneers leading scoring guard picks up her fourth and so that'll send Jordan Gonzalez and Ariel Sargent back into the game along with senior point guard Gooch, Zoe Hayward and Megan Scott to round out their five they stay in the full court press been effective in spurts Ravens have settled down against the press here as of late they get it right inside to Brzezowski, shot fake Got Megan Scott off of her feet, couldn't get the bucket to go, but Natalie Smeron right there to put it back up and in. And she gambled for a steal on the other end. Megan Scott thought about going to the basket, trying to take advantage, instead pulls it out to run offense. Gooch off the ball screen. Pull up jumper, elbow, no good, and... Ravens come down with the rebound. Megan Scott hit the deck, so Ravens have numbers. And J Nicholson went all the way to the bucket, couldn't get the layup to drop. A couple offensive rebound and put back opportunities from the Ravens, but couldn't capitalize. A couple chip shots just not finding the bottom of the net here for both teams, really. A slow start to the fourth quarter offensively. But the Ravens just chipping away, made it a five-point ball game. It's 48-43 lead. 7.41 to go, fourth quarter. Heather Ronenbaum checks back into the game. There's a discussion being had between head coach John Lewis and one of the officials over on the sidelines, and they had a, a lengthy talk about what, I'm not sure. But play is resumed now. Gooch brings it across the timeline, guarded there by Nicholson. 
directing traffic, trying to get it into Megan Scott, and does. One-on-one -on -one in the post. That's trouble for the Ravens all night long. Oh. Megan Scott goes right to work, gets to her strong hand, the right side off the glass and good. She's up to 19 and pushes that lead back to seven. Ronenbaum in the paint. Pretty drop-off pass to Smarin for the layup. Heather Ronenbaum providing a little offensive spark off the bench here in the fourth. Gooch, ball screen from Scott. Twists it, comes right back to the baseline side. She got all the way to the rim, missed the layup. Another Ravens pushing the tempo. Skylar Washington's going to take a three left wing. Man, look good the whole way off the back rim. And rebound contested by a couple of different Ravens, a couple of different Pioneers. They're going to say last touch on the black jersey, so Pioneer basketball. Anna Ralston back into the game. Megan Scott will take a quick seat. I mean, you look up on that scoreboard for the Pioneers now. Megan Scott, who has 19 points, exits the game. Trelshawn Smith on the bench with four fouls. And the Pioneers on the floor, no one with more than three. Gooch trying to change that as she gets all the way to the basket and is fouled. Brzezowski takes her second personal foul. And Michaela Gooch heads to the free throw line. The same official who had to stop play and have a two-minute discussion with Coach Lewis on the sideline now decides to stop play and talk to the players on the floor and make his point known that he was unhappy with their body language after the foul call. Certainly putting on a show in the striped shirts there on the far sideline. But Michaela Gooch walks to the free throw line and knocks down both foul shots. 52-45 lead for the Pioneers. Skylar Washington had to save the ball from going out of bounds, just threw it behind her back, hoping to find a Raven. No such luck. Michaela Gooch came away with it. Pioneers off and running. Now they're going to slow things down and run a set. Jordan Gonzalez off the handoff from Ralston. She gets all the way into the paint. Left-handed layup off the glass. No good. Another offensive board from Anna Ralston. Again, she couldn't convert on the putback attempt. Ravens looking to respond. It's going to be a three from Washington, and she knocked it down. Skylar Washington, little step back three off the dribble at the top of the key, makes this a four-point game. Smooth-looking stroke from Washington. She can really shoot the basketball. She's up to 12 points in the game now to lead the Ravens. And right on her average, she averages about 13. Gooch all the way to the paint. Euro step. Pretty pass fake to get the defender off balance. Gave herself a clean look. Couldn't get the floater to drop. Ronenbaum all the way into the paint. Got it right back and found a wide open Brzezowski. Ali Brzezowski puts it in. She's in double figures with 10. And we got a two-point game here in the Cook Center. 52 to 50. Five minutes to go. And Coach Lewis wants to take a 30-second timeout, talk things over. So we're going to have a great finish here in the Cook Center as the Pioneers 14-9 ball club and the Ravens a 17-8 club, but 9-6 in Heart of America play. The Pioneers 11-4 in Heart of America play. So two-game lead on the Ravens. This would be a huge win for Benedictine if they're able to claw all the way back and pull this out. Coach Lewis and the Pioneers hoping to prevent that from happening. Going to talk things over. We'll take a quick timeout at minisports.com. Pioneer basketball now. Gooch brings it across half court. Just 15 on the shot clock. 
They get it to Trelshawn Smith, who's checked back in with those four fouls, along with Megan Scott. Megan Scott gets a post touch, left block, spin move, little fadeaway jumper off the glass. No good this time. She was looking for a foul call, didn't get it. Ravens have a chance to tie the game or take the lead here. That's Anna San Juan, 23 in the black, who's running the point now. Hadn't been in at all in the second half, I don't believe. Right on cue, turned the ball over. Freshman Jennifer Jacobs into the game for the Ravens as well, who had a big impact on the first half off the bench. Hadn't seen her yet in the second. Gooch looking to get it inside to Megan Scott. Good defense inside by Brzezowski, unable to get it to her. Megan Scott comes out to ball screen. Gooch, pull up jumper left elbow, too strong. Offensive rebound, Scott. Scott goes right back up and in. Megan Scott's got 21. Pioneers lead 54 to 50. Just about four minutes to go in the ball game. And the Ravens are still searching for an answer for the problem that is Megan Scott in the post. Another unforced error is that's back-to-back -back turnovers by the Ravens where they had the basketball at the top of the key and just threw it into their own bench against little ball pressure, just not on the same page with that wing player. Gooch sets the offense for the Pioneers. They go right back into Megan Scott, and why not? Skyler Washington comes to double team, and this time two Ravens got their hands on the ball as Washington came on the double team to help out Brzezowski, and Brzezowski able to strip it away. They go right back to Scott on the inbound. Now she's going to get a post-touch right side. Faces up, waits for the double. It doesn't come this time, so Scott right to the basket. Tried to get one off for a foul. It wasn't called as Brzezowski stayed vertical in the post. Good defense inside that time by Ali Brzezowski. And Aaliyah Reigns all the way to the basket. Her layup no good. Austinson tracks down the rebound, and Coach Lewis able to get a timeout as Lydia Austinson had no place to go after the off after the defensive rebound was had her feet inches away from that out of bounds line on the end. So Coach Lewis burns a timeout. The Pioneers have two of those left. As do the Ravens. We'll be back in 30 seconds on MNUSports.com. Benedictine going to set up in a full court press here. Little 2-1-2 two -two look. Reigns and Nicholson at the top. Skyler Washington in the middle, and now they're going to retreat, set up into man-to-man. -man. Gonzalez had to bring it across. Gets it back to Trelshawn Smith, so Pioneer's not able to get into their half-court offense until about 14 on the shot clock. Gonzalez, crossover top of the key. Gets it to Scott on a pick and pop. Megan Scott goes to work from the elbow. Spin move. Drops off a little no-look pass to a cutting Jordan Gonzalez. Megan Scott kept her eyes up floor and found Gonzalez on the backdoor cut for the layup. Gives the Pioneers a six-point lead with just 2.45 to go. Michaela Gooch pressuring the basketball at the top of the key. Now they get it into the freshman. Jennifer Jacobs. Spin move, got to her left hand, but Lydia Austinson with another block shot. She's got a couple of those tonight. Sends it away on the baseline. Ravens will inbound it there. Nicholson looking for a teammate. Finally finds Skylar Washington top of the key. She goes all the way to the rim off the right side. Got the difficult layup to go. Tough move from Skylar Washington. Basket's good off the right side. Took some contact, finished through it. She's got 14, 56, 52 your score. 
Gonzalez off the screen again from Scott. Swings it back to Trelshawn Smith. Smith looking to enter the post. Smarin guarding Megan Scott with a difficult task one-on-one -on -one there. Trelshawn Smith in the paint. Euro step no good off the floater. Megan Scott offensive rebound put back's no good. Four-point ball game. Scott slow to get up. Ravens are going to have numbers. Skyler Washington's three rattles out. Trelshawn Smith comes down with it. Throws a full court outlet pass to Megan Scott who just got to it before it goes out of bounds and had to just throw it up behind her to save it. Ravens came away with the pass. A helter-skelter couple of possessions from the Pioneers with just a minute 30 to go in the half, or in the game, excuse me. Need to settle things down on the offensive end, and Trelshawn Smith comes down with a big defensive rebound as that shot from Natalie Smarin looked good all the way, rattled out. Just the second team foul on the Ravens, so they're going to have to foul three more times if they want to stop the clock with some free throws here. Not this possession, but probably the one after. Can afford to be very aggressive on the ball here. Have two fouls to give. Nicholson pressures Gooch top of the key. Scott handles it now. Dribble handoff with Smith. Trelshawn, three, top of the key, left it short. Rebound Smarin, here come the Ravens. Down by four with a minute to play. Nicholson unevaded all the way to the basket. Left-handed layups up and good. What a time for her first basket of the ball game. Those two points give the Ravens a two-point deficit. 57 seconds on the game clock. The same referee who is just absolutely trying to put on a clinic this evening is going to stop the ball game again, make sure the girls stay on the floor they don't go to the bench because it's his official timeout, and he's going to go look at the monitor and see if they need to add one or two seconds to the clock. So stay with us after they finish their video review. We'll be back on MNU Sports' YouTube channel.
Well, after that five-minute review, the officials added one second to the game clock. And now we're going to take a full timeout because the Pioneers are actually going to use one of their two remaining timeouts with a 29-second difference, 29.9-second difference between shot and game clock. They should get two possessions here to the Ravens' one, clinging on to a two-point lead. We'll see what Coach Lewis has drawn up against this full-court press and then in the half-court once they break it. Possessions couldn't be any more of a premium in this game as a low-scoring affair. Neither team shot it well from the three-point line early on. Both offenses heated up a bit in the second half. The Ravens have been led in scoring by Natalie Smeron, who averages just 9.7, has 17 in the game tonight. Skylar Washington, their leading scorer, has 14 tonight, leading scorer on the season. Ali Brzezowski, who averages 10, right at her average with 10. A notable absence is sophomore guard Ali Kramer, who was starting and averaging almost 11 points a ball game, who has been missing from several box scores as of late. And freshman guard Kennedy Nicholson scored her first two points of the ball game, and they couldn't have come at a better time as she cut this thing to a one-possession game with that layup on the left side after a full-court take from the freshman guard. And Pioneers advance the basketball with that timeout. Love that rule. Wish the men's game would adopt it. Michaela Gooch has it top of the key. And she's still getting instructions from Coach Lewis even after the inbounds, although they've had... Several minutes to talk things over now. Ravens showing a bit of 2-3 zone. I think they'll match up as this gets late in the shot clock. Gooch picked her dribble up. Austinson there to relieve the pressure. Eight on the shot clock. Lydia all the way into the paint. She takes a difficult layup. No good. Rebound by the Ravens. So good defensive possession from Benedictine. Four second difference between shot and game clock. So they can run this thing just about all the way down to try to tie it. And a wide open smear on. Missed the layup. Got her own rebound and is going to be tied up by Michaela Gooch. Jump ball. Jump ball. The possession arrow favors Mid-American Nazarene. So Michaela Gooch able to tie up Natalie Smeron, who was wide open for a moment, bobbled the pass, got the pass eventually secured, and then just missed the layup, got her own rebound, and Michaela Gooch, right place, right time, able to force the jump ball. Possession arrow pioneers, so... They're going to take another full timeout. It'll be 19 seconds on the clock when we come back. Pioneer basketball clinging on to a two-point lead. MNUsports.com. Action set to resume. Jordan Gonzalez inbounds, gets it to Michaela Gooch. Ravens have a couple of fouls to give. They're going to use one there. Still have one more foul to give before the bonus. Just the first personal on Nicholson. Imagine Pioneers will go right back to that action. Run Charles Sean Smith to the corner, get it to Gooch up top. They do. And Nicholson again with the quick foul. Smart play. So her second, fourth team foul on the Ravens. It'll be bonus the rest of the way for the Ravens now, or for the Pioneers on a Ravens foul. 
Gooch back to the top of the key. She has it in for a third time. Nicholson going to foul her. Wondered if they'd run one quick trap at her. They opted for the quick foul. And so Michaela Gooch will head to the free throw line for two foul shots with a two-point lead and a chance to make this a two-possession game. Michaela Gooch, the fifth-year senior on senior night, a chance to put this game away. First free throw, nothing but net. 57-54 lead. And not put it away totally. The Ravens still have two timeouts and are plenty capable of scoring two baskets. Anything can happen. 16 seconds to go in the ballgame, but big shots here. And Gooch hits them both. So we got a two-possession game. Ravens will take a full timeout. 58-54. It'll be Benedictine basketball when we come back on MNUSports.com. Skyler Washington will inbound on the sideline for the Ravens here. You always have to pay attention to the inbounder as they often go right back to them for a big basket coming out of a set play. Washington, the team's leading scorer, you've got to look for that. She's searching, does throw it over the top and tried to get it in the post to Smarin, stolen away by Megan Scott. A huge defensive play by Megan Scott as the Ravens completely cleared out the post and tried to throw it over the top for an easy basket. Megan Scott denying that as she fought her way around, stole the inbound pass, and she's going to head to the free throw line for two. Scott, who has been a force offensively tonight, knocks down the free throw to give herself 22 in the ball game, makes the biggest play of the game on the defensive end. Five-point lead now, just 14 seconds to go. Benedicting still has one timeout remaining. Scott goes two for two, and they're going to go ahead and use it. So a six-point game thanks to the defensive play and the free throw shooting of Megan Scott. 60-54, to 54, we'll be back after the full timeout at MinuSports.com. Play set to resume. Skyler Washington does inbound it, and they do go right back to her, but it's stolen away by Austinson. And Gooch throws a deep outlet to Trelshawn Smith. That's going to wrap this up. Ravens choosing not to foul, so that's going to be your final score. Pioneers win it 60-54 to on senior night after a huge performance from Megan Scott. Stick around for 
the men's game as Senior Night follows with the Pioneers to take on Benedictine College on the YouTube channel. A different stream, but same channel immediately following this one in about 30 minutes as we'll have some Senior Night festivities in between games. So thanks for being with us, and a good night, everybody. It's now time to honor your Lady Pioneer Seniors. First, we have Michaela Gooch. Is accompanied by her parents, Keith and Lenore Gooch, and her brother, Austin. Michaela is from Olathe, Kansas, and is majoring in sports management. She plans to become a dental hygienist after graduation. Michaela Gooch. Next, we have Zoe Hayward, is accompanied by her mom, Anna Lee, her sister Sadie, and her brothers Quincy and Chauncey. She is from Leavenworth, Kansas, will be graduating with her master's in business administration. She plans to become a teacher after graduation. Zoe Hayward. Next, we have Anna Ralston. She's accompanied by her mother, Darcy Ralston. 
She is from Wichita, Kansas, and majoring in chemistry and biology, graduating with honors. She is a member of the Heart of America Association of Student Athletes and plans to attend medical school after graduation. Anna Ralston. Next, we have Trail Sean Smith. She's accompanied by her mother, Trail Ellis Perry, and her sister, Milani Perry. Trail Sean is from Ashland, Missouri, majoring in sports management with an emphasis in sports dynamics with a minor in coaching. She is a first generation college graduate and plans to play professional basketball overseas and continue expanding her business, Smith's Organic Strengths, after graduation. Trail Sean Smith. Next, we have Jordan Nakbar. She's accompanied by her parents, Paul and Kim Nakbar. She is from Shawnee, Kansas, majoring in mathematics. She too has yet to decide on plans after graduation, but is excited to see what the future holds. Jordan Nakbar. Next, we have Megan Scott. She's accompanied by her parents, Curtis and Misty Scott. She is from Carl Junction, Missouri, majoring in nursing. After graduation, her plans are to work as an OR nurse at Ascension St. John Medical Center. Megan Scott. And last, we have Taylor Nichols. She's accompanied by her sister, Jalen. She is from Dodge City, Kansas, majoring in psychology. She has yet to decide what she's doing after graduation, but is keeping all options open. Taylor Nichols. Ladies and gentlemen, one more hand for your Lady Pioneer Seniors. Let's introduce the senior men. We're going to start with Cameron Brady. He's accompanied by his wife, Sydney, and his parents, Scott and Mary Brady. He is from Salt Lake City, Utah, majoring in kinesiology with a minor in chemistry. Cam has scored 958 points in his career. He has also pulled down 508 rebounds and blocked 90 shots. Cam was named Honorable Mention All-Conference last season. Cameron Brady. Next we have Trey Brown. He's accompanied by parents Kim and Mike Brown. He is from Topeka, Kansas, majoring in criminal justice. Trey has scored 1,140 points in his career. He also has 615 assists and 139 steals. Trey was named second team all-conference last year. Trey Brown. Next we have Drew Smith. He's accompanied by his brother, Nia Rosenthal, and stepfather, Anthony Rosenthal. He is from Kansas City, Missouri, majoring in sports management. That is Drew Smith. And last, we have Pedro Lobs. He's accompanied by his girlfriend, Bailey Well. He is from Pilatus, Brazil, majoring in business administration and graphic design. Pedro has scored 485 points in his career and has 234 rebounds. Pedro was named Honorable Mention All-Conference last season. Pedro Lopes. One more hand for all the senior men here tonight. Great season for both the women and the men. 
got four games to go. 